Uh, hi, fellas. Yeah, my bad. Hey, no problem. Halt, for you now face the might of Thor, son of Odin! And don't forget me, your fiendly neighborhood Spider-Man. I prefer to think of us as the next generation, bigger and badder. Nay thee, I say. Doom has decreed that my father must remain imprisoned, so there he... Of course, you're welcome to try and take the hammer from him. I dare you. Come on. You know you want to. <laughs> I'm not your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. <laughs> Dr. Doom still wields Odin's power. But you have saved Odin's life by freeing his body from this prison. For that act of bravery, you have the appreciation of all of Asgard. Return to us now in Asgard, Odin. Here you will rest, that you might one day regain your powers.
Hey, man. Greetings, my old friends. You're looking quite well for being dead. But then, I suppose I have Uazo to thank for that little miracle. I know a great many things. And once I am finished here on Earth, I shall turn my attention to the stars. Then, all the Watchers will learn to respect the might of doom. Do you see how easily I now control the very elements themselves? Finally, I have achieved the ultimate power. Why would I destroy the last people who can appreciate my work? I want you to roam around and see what I've changed and what I've created. Once again, luck has been on your side, for that can be the only reason you have survived this long. But my latest creations will finally put an end to all that. Who better to serve as my personal guards than recreations of my greatest foes? Meet my Fantastic Four. Don't talk that way about our Lord and Master. Doctor Doom is the greatest man the world has ever known. Now you will kneel before Victor Von Doom. And you will pledge allegiance to him. And if you don't, we'll pound you until you do! Got it? You made a big mistake here. Amazing! Yeah, my bad, silly. So, you have beaten my Fantastic Four. I have only myself to blame. I made the mistake of creating them as feeble and weak-minded as the originals. Ah! Your petty fears are of no concern to me. I control the might of the most powerful god in Asgard. Silence! I have heard enough of your prattle. Now, I will obliterate you once and for all. This is gonna hurt! <laughs> Match 
for miles! <laughs> Hey fellas. Say good night, Gracie. So, you managed to steal a portion of my powers, eh? An interesting ploy, but it matters not. And now, with the aid of my minions, I'll show you how a real god smites his enemies. Here comes trouble!
All is well, but the tale is not yet complete. While pursuing Doctor Doom, your actions have had ramifications you could not possibly imagine. Allow me to show you the future you helped to create. It is regrettable you did not save the Omega Base computer. It contained research data on the Legacy Virus, a disease that is deadly to mutants. In several years, the virus will become a plague that runs rampant across the Earth. Because you chose not to act, you may have doomed the mutant race to extinction. It was unfortunate that you did not gather the ingredients needed to heal Namor in Atlantis. Because Namor is weak, Krang will assume the throne and convince the Atlanteans to attack human warships. Your failure to save Senator Kelly in Murder World proves to be most disastrous. There will be a great loss because you neglected to locate the Sword of the Valkyrie. Had you located Vola's ring, it would have spared much bloodshed. Your failure to save Princess Lelandra was most unfortunate. You are to be congratulated on saving the Skrull planet from destruction. It was most wise of you to save Odin from his confinement in Castle Doom. In the near future, the mighty Thanos will seek to conquer Earth. Only intervention by Thor's father will save the human race from enslavement. You are to be congratulated for locating the damaged Ultimate Nullifier. Although this timeline was created by you, know that it can be altered. <laughs>